I was only trying to win. I'm trying to come clean, but tell me where do I begin? It's been a long time on the ground, my soul is thin. I'm drowning pain with the liquor, I'm always on a binge. Mama raised me right, but I chose to do the wrong. I'm stuck up in the same spot, my people moving on. Some are gone, their memories is what keep me strong. I'd rather die trying to be a king to live upon. But Richard Eggie, you Ricky, my family to the end. No matter what happens in this life, you some true friends. Never forget the good times and forgive the bad. I'm thankful for my brothers and sisters plus mom and dad. But this is my life. I'ma push it to the limits. I live by the code. Never will I be a witness. Infected by greed, affected by the sickness. There ain't no way out, so just pray for forgiveness. Me. I guess I grew up wrong. I'll be this way my whole life long. Let's get up and let's get in, fight fans. We got lightweight action here. Lightweight action and the first fighter coming out of the Banff corner, the blue corner. The man with a one and one record, Alite's MMA representative from Klang, Malaysia, Andy the Bullet J. His opponent in me pirate corner. So represent me well, Sonny. You know this man coming out of 301 gym in Hua Hin with also a one and one record. Hailing from Alberta, Canada, he is the Mac Mad Truck, Liam McGowan. A round of applause for both fighters. And when we start the action, it is overlooked by Mr. Dana Bloin. The man with the best beard on the ship. Shh. Okay, Peter Davis has abandoned ship like a filthy landlubber he is, so I will be doing commentary for this fight all by myself. I might try and talk like a pirate some of the time. Jolly Roger, round one. I just hope that having such a handsome man cage side isn't too distracting for these two fighters. Uh, Liam McGowan took this fight at very short notice, I think uh, around four or five days. He's down at uh, 301 Muay Thai near Hua Hin though, so he's uh, always in shape. Exactly, he's living down there in uh, Hua Hin. Beautiful seaside. All the best fighters live in Hua Hin. You know what I mean? And again, Andy the Bullet Tay. What I want to see about this boy is his twa Taekwondo moves. Apparently the boy has a fantastic kick. I mean, uh, he, he was a competitive Taekwondo fighter for a while. That is not mixed martial arts, and that is not mixed martial arts though. So let's see how he stands up here in the small cage. Lots of action in the first minute. Both guys really going at it as uh, Liam McGowan gets the takedown. Uh, Andy Tay on his back. He's not going to be able to use much Taekwondo from there. No, he's not. He's going to be on his back. He's pushing off the cage, but that's all he can do. Once again, let's see how he gets off his back or what submissions he's going to try to attempt from this bottom position. His corner man just left us over here hanging. We'll make him walk the plank later, but Peter Davis is doing a uh, fantastic job over there in the corner. Yeah, I know, he, I, I know Peter Davis can give excellent advice when it comes to things like, uh, you know, hairstyling and makeup. Super I mean, handsome. The question is, I mean, can, can he give martial arts advice? Who knows? But uh, also, when it comes down to this, who cares? Because you want to know what? We got knees coming to the head right now. The mad truck, Liam McGowan on top and staying there. Yeah, absolutely. This is the global rule set, which means that knees to the head of a grounded opponent are allowed. Fair game. Fair game. Andy Tay doing a good job of not letting the mad truck get into the mount. He's le left that leg up there, but, uh, yeah, but, he, but he does look like he's going for I think it's either a Kimura or a yeah, side control there. 
Looked like he went for the Camorra, then switched up to the Americana, but uh, I think Andy Tay has uh, slipped out, but he's still not in a good position here. Just trying to wall walk, wall walk there, use his feet to uh, push off the cage. Short elbows coming from the mad truck. Those are not like the throwdown gloves, these lovely throwdown gloves that we're using. Throwdown, fantastic sponsor of both MEMA and MMAR. If you've never been punched in the face with one, make sure you do it. But uh, unfortunately, we're not, we're not putting gloves on the elbows, so these bad boys are, are sneaking their way through. Grabs the arm again, he's going for another submission, and he's tweaking it. Was that a tap, was that a tap? I think it's all over, yeah, I, I think Andy Tay has tapped out. Liam McGowan is your winner by submission, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic action there, and I will get back into the cage. I blame the cornerman. There'd be no losers here in the MMA R cage, but we have to raise the hand of a winner. And so with that, Mr. Dana Blowen, raise the hand of the red corner, Liam the Mad Truck McGowan. Ricky, my family to the end. No matter what happens in this life, you some true friends. We've got another captain presenting. Let's get the captain, Star Cruise Libra. Thank you so much. A super Star Cruise, a leading cruise line in the Asian Pacific to award the medal. Exactly. Short notice, but still winning the fight. Captains, no captains. And that, my friends, is a captain here on the Star Cruise.